Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my black screen series. Um, I'm not sure how this episode is going to sound. Uh, I'm going to play a bit of it back at the end. I don't know if you can hear that, but Leia's eating a bone. Right when I decide to start filming this, she's eating a bone. I'm not going to stop her. It's her bone. Um, yeah. So, if it turns out that it just sounds disgusting, her grinding away on her bone and making all the noise, I might have to record this again. But anyway, I'm going to soldier on anyway and we'll just see how it sounds at the end. Um, so, I've moved. I'm in the new place. I think, what, about three, four days now? Three days, I think. Yeah. Um... And uh, there's no real reason why this episode's so late, other than um, laziness. Um, yeah, the move kind of took it out of me, both physically and emotionally, and I've needed some time to recuperate. Um, so I haven't done anything with the Cybertruck. Um, I've just been hanging at home. Hanging a tiny bit in town, um, but mainly at home. Yeah, so um, things are a little bit different here. Um, they're nicer, definitely. Um, it's pretty relaxed here. Pretty peaceful. Um, and it's closer to town. Uh, one downside of it being closer to town is that the blocks are a little bit smaller here, so the neighbours are slightly closer. But it's still nothing like you get in a city or even in the suburbs, you know, where we've got a decent amount of space between us here. The blocks aren't that small. Um, nothing like quarter acre blocks, you know, they're way bigger. I'm not sure how big they are, but they're way bigger than that. Um, but yeah, they're just high density of people here than where I was. So you sometimes hear voices, um, but it's not in your head. Yeah, I'm just, last couple of places, the last few places I've lived at, actually, since about, I don't know, about 2019, no, probably about 2020, I don't know, maybe five, six years since I've moved out of the centre of Nimbin, or was living in the middle of town, um, yeah, since I've moved out of the centre of Nimbin, I've been on rural properties, um, five acre box, 20 acre box, um, last one was 11, one before that was 100, so yeah, I've, I've had a few different places, and um, they've all been big blocks, um, the beauty of having a micro camper is that I can go anywhere, I can, I can be in suburbia, I can be in someone's backyard, I can be, you know, in the bush, I can almost be off grid um i'm missing a couple of components there to do that properly but um yeah anyway um so all my gears in a storage container for two months the cyber trucks across the road from the storage container which is really handy for three months hopefully i can extend either one or both of those times um, it may prove that I have to find somewhere or it probably will I'll have to find somewhere in a couple of months time for all my stuff and might have to might mean that I have to pay for it um, so it like, might mean I'll have to pay for storage but that's okay because I'm not paying rent where I am at the moment which is a huge bonus um, I'll lay 
Hey, you're so noisy on that phone. I hope this recording isn't for nothing. Um, so yeah, the dogs love it here. They're settled in. They don't have the creek, but they seem happy. Leia jumped in the pool. First time we went into the pool yard, she just jumped straight in. Had a swim, jumped out. A minute later, she jumped back in again. Had another swim, jumped out. So, Leia likes the pool. Um, she stayed out of it the day before yesterday. No, yesterday. She stayed out of it, and then later in the day, Luke f fell in. I think it was because it was a bit cold, colder. They yeah, all just hang around the pool yard, and if she wanted to jump in, she could have, but she didn't. I thought she was going to a couple of times, but she just didn't jump in. And yeah, I just let her do her own thing. If she wants to jump in, she can. If she doesn't want to, she doesn't. I'm not going to make her. Um, she really doesn't need any encouragement when she wants to do it. But um, yeah, so she didn't jump in. And Luke fell in. He fell in the water. He was walking around the edge of the pool and lost balance and fell in. Um, and so that was good. Because I was right there, I was actually cleaning the pool and I was just standing on the other side of it. So I walked around to where he was, lucky he was close to the step. And I showed him the step. And I made him come towards me. I said, swim this way. He's hanging on the edge and sort of climbing along the edge. But he had nothing to put his feet on. And he, he's hanging on by his paws to the edge and just inching his way along the edge towards me. You're right, Leia. Chew more, darling, chew. And, um, yeah, and he was, you could see he was a little bit distressed. He wasn't, he doesn't like not feeling the bottom under his feet in the water. And it freaks him out. So he, he does like to be in water where he can touch the, touch the ground. Doesn't like deep stuff. And that's all right. Creeks are more his style. And even just like kiddie pools, you know, you love fun in a kiddie pool. I think I'm going to get get them one of those shell pools, just so they can play around and just have that somewhere handy. Um, but yeah, anyway, so Luke found his way to the step, and when he found the step under his feet, he just paused because um, he'd been struggling for nearly a minute, I reckon. And a bit, a bit in a bit of a panic, and once he felt that felt that step under his feet, he was like, "Oh, thank God, that's there." You could see the relief on his face, and he just relaxed and just stood there with his paws still up on the front, up on up on the edge of the pool, <coughs> on the pavers, while his um, back feet are standing on the step. And you can see him; he's just resting there for about a minute. And then I said, "Come on, hop out." And, um, yeah, once he'd sort of had enough rest, he just bounced out of there. And I thought, that's good. So he knows that he can get out by himself now, because I didn't help him. I just showed him. I just called him in the right direction. So there's a chance he'll fall in again. Um, I don't let him in the yard when I'm not there, so it's not going to, you know, it's not like he's going to be there unattended. But um, the fact that he knows that he can get out and if he swims towards the edge, he can hang on to the edge. Um, that sort of makes me feel comforted that he's not going to drown. Um, and I'm pretty sure next time around he might even be able to work it out himself. I'm going to see if he will on it. Next time it happens, if it happens near the step, I'm just going to see which which direction he heads. If he heads towards the step, I'll let him go. If he heads away from the step, or just stays in the one spot, then I'll call him towards the step. Anyway, we're getting off topic. But then again, there is no topic in these episodes, is there? So yeah, this is um, episode 11. Um, should have been out a few days ago. But uh, it's not as late as the last few have been. Look, I'm trying to talk and you just want me to pat you. 
there's only so much padding I can do, mate. Oh, alright. Um, yes, okay, I'm just going to keep putting you. So, while Lukey distracts me by making me pat him, and Leo chews away, distracts me by chewing on the bone, I'll press on. <laughs> yeah, so guys, um, moving really rattled me. Um, <coughs> just the way everything was thrown at me too wasn't nice. Wasn't what I was expecting. I was kind of hoping on hanging at that place for quite a long time. Um, and I liked it there. The, the, the dogs love the creek. And so, you know, if it's great for the dogs, it's great for me. Um, it did show me that the dogs are really comfortable in a rural setting and for this water nearby. They love it. Um, and it doesn't have to be a creek. It can be a, a dam even. Even a pool. Hey, buddy. Yeah, so, Luke, you don't like to pool. And there's this little water bowl that's meant to be for the dogs to drink fresh water out of. And Luke jumps in that when he wants to have a swim. Because <laughs> it's only up to your belly, isn't it, buddy? Yeah, so, if you... If you've seen my videos before and you've seen the dogs in action, looks a little Pomeranian. He's probably about two kilo if, if we're lucky. Maybe a bit more than that, I don't know. Um, I not wager. But yeah, Leo's probably up near 10 kilo. Or 8 kilo, I don't know. I'm going to guess she's around 8 kilo or 10 kilo. Haven't weighed either of them. I'd, I do remember weighing Missy, but probably five years ago. And I'm pretty sure she was um, 3.5, was it? 3.5, 3.6 kilo. Um, but she still had some baby fat on. Because she'd had babies. So she had boobies at the time. And then a bit of bubby fat being a mum so yeah she's probably closer to she's probably under three and a half kilo at the moment but I'm reasonably confident she's over three and when she's pregnant she used to get up over four and a half maybe even closer to five kilo anyway um so yeah enough about the dogs they're so distracting but I love them yeah, guys, if um, if you're not a dog lover, you shouldn't be on this channel, I don't think. <laughs> oh, no, there's other things. There's, uh, there's the hairy hippie guy. Um, me. Yeah, maybe you're here for, not for the dogs and you're just here for me. Maybe you're here for my comedy. Yeah, the thing about comedy is it's all about timing. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm just playing with this dog. Um, what are we talking about? Why are you guys here? The comment section's gone a bit quiet. I'm not getting a lot of views on these. But I don't really care. I don't care if just there's just three or four views. I'd still keep making them. Uh, because it's just as much for me. It's kind of like a dear diary thing in a way. But um, yeah, this is this is therapy for me, guys. This is it's also a chance for you guys to get to know me. And um, find out what I'm like, you know, in a, in a bit more detail, I guess. Sorry, I've just got to move them away from you so you don't melt them. Got half a bag of Jaffas. And Lukey had his head on them and I was worried he's going to melt them. So, 
Um, yeah, the new place is awesome. It's much closer to town and on a road that gets a lot more traffic as well. Um, so hitching to town is really easy. Um, and plus there's people here that have cars as well. So yeah, it's just win, win, win. Um, then there's the no rent thing. Kind of feel a little bit guilty about that. I haven't done much except a bit of clean, cleaning of the pool. So I'm hanging out in the pool yard. I might as well grab the leaf scooper and go around and pick up whatever crumbs are floating on the top of the water. Not crumbs, but you know what I mean. Just stuff, dead flies and a leaf or two, or a bit of grass, whatever. Just whatever stuff blows into the pool and floats to the top. Yeah, so I went and did a bit of that, and then I got the broom one and stirred up some of the stuff on the bottom, and scooped up some of the stuff at the bottom. I got the pool looking pretty clean yesterday, though. But um, it's rained most of the day today. We haven't hung in the pool yard today at all. In fact, the dogs have only been out of the van for about five minutes today. Maybe ten minutes. I don't know, maybe a little bit longer than that, but yeah, I was just thinking of one time that they went out, but they actually went out twice. So they've been out just to go to the toilet break, basically, and they've done it twice all day. And we got up this morning, they went out for about five, ten minutes. I got up and walked around too. Then I put them back in the van, and I went into town, hung in there for about an hour or so. Maybe an hour and a half, then I came home, and I, um, I judged whether they needed to go to the toilet by their reaction, and they just wanted to see me, they didn't want to go to the toilet when I got back, so we didn't go out, and a little later on they want to go to the toilet, so I let them out, and um, at the moment they're fine, they'll let me know if they want to go to the toilet, aren't you buddy? Well, proof is there's no accidents in here. Um, yeah, so they've been fed, and now they're chewing on bones. Luke is still just, every time I stop patting him, he just puts his paw out to me. And then when I pat him, it's like he's going to sleep in bliss land. You're blissing out with his pat, aren't you? Just loving it. He's just really loving the pat. Look in his face, it's just, oh, it's awesome. I think he thinks I'm talking to him. You think I'm talking to you, Loki? Is this all about you? I'm not talking to anyone but you, eh? But it kind of makes sense to him, for him to think that I'm just talking to him, right? <laughs> because he's right in front of me. And we're looking each other in the eye. <laughs> he's just laying on his side, looking at me. The phone's in between us, recording. He doesn't realise the phone records though when I'm talking to it. And, I mean, they're familiar with, with me talking to people on the phone. They've heard noises and got a feeling they've heard, they've understood that there's someone on the other end of the phone somehow. It trips them out a bit. But. Um, and yeah, sometimes when something happens and there's a weird noise on a YouTube video, they might um might react and show interest in the phone. But yeah, they're not really not really into watching it. I thought Leia was gonna be a dog that watches videos. But yeah, she only watches things for a second or second or two. She just looks at it and goes, Oh yeah, that's a dog and then looks away. So unlike some dogs that I've watched that aren't mine that seem to just sit there in front of the telly and really enjoy it. These dog, dogs just want to look at, see, see what's going on and then they go, oh, that's what that is. <laughs> wow, you're making so much noise. I hope this recording is not for nothing. Look, you better not be for nothing, hey, mate? So, um... I don't, um... Ooh. 
You right, mate? Catch your breath. It's because you're laying down. You gotta sit up to do it. You gotta sit up if you wanna catch your breath. No, you're gonna struggle and do it on your side. No, now you're sitting up. But you already caught your breath. Yeah, guys. Um, so I'm gonna probably do a shorter video this, a shorter upload this time for this episode. There's no rule on how long these episodes need to be. Um, I do like to have them at least half an hour long. Um, but yeah, they can go an hour and a half long. That's fine with me as well. Don't know about two hours. It's starting to get a bit too long. Um, yeah, so I think I'm winding it up. Um, <laughs> I really hope this sounds okay when I play it back. That's part of the reason why I'm wanting to wind it up too, in case I'll play this back and it sounds like just layer eating bone. Honey Luke. So yeah, it's it could be it could probably sound disgusting or really distracting or just horrible. And because my phone's sitting on the same mattress and I'm laying on the same mattress that she's on. <laughs> Um, she, luckily she's got the bone down near my feet, which is actually, it's on her bed. Where are you going? Don't come here with it. Go away. Go away. Take that bone away. She was, just when I was saying, luckily she's keeping it down there, she's got up and turned around and wanted to come towards me with it. <coughs> Take that bone away. Good girl. Take it away. Um, so yeah, I don't know if she's finished, no she's not finished, I thought she was finished it and she was going to think about hiding it and that's why she turned around, but I think she was just bored and trying to find somewhere more comfortable or reposition it herself. Anyway, um, I really um don't have a lot to say. As far as how am I going, um, probably a little better than I have been recently, but yeah, it's just still a bit frazzled from the move. Um, yeah, I, I can see that things are working out okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just, um, just got to get my shit together really. Um, now yeah, I'll need to get busy. So I sent my mate that's um, going to be helping out with the Cybertruck. I sent him a message earlier. I'm not sure if he's seen it, but just asking him if he's going to be home tomorrow and if I can come around, we'll talk about getting some some sort of a plan set up for the Cybertruck. Um, I want to set up some short, medium, and long-term goals for getting it on the road. And, um, yeah, that's that's kind of still a huge priority for me, even though I've just taken a few days off, not doing the thing at all. But really, consider it moving. Um, moving will be a lot easier if... <laughs> so... The camper actually has no wheels on it at all at the moment. So we, we had one wheel and we started and one broken wheel. We tried taking right off the side that had the broken wheel and putting it onto the other side. And we moved, I think we moved a few inches before that wheel. You know, we hardly moved. Go. Um, we hardly moved. And um, it was broken. Luke, can you move? I'm trying to talk and you're just bothering me. I've given you a heap, heaps of part. It's just time to stop being in my face. Very demanding, buddy. No. Can you just leave me alone for a while? You've had so much pat for the last 20 minutes or so. <laughs> He's looking at me like I'm an asshole now. Like, 
over cute boy why are you petting me anyway um yeah so I've, I've um i am a little better in a better place than i was a couple of weeks ago and um yeah so episodes should get get back to being on time again this episode should have been back on time, but it was more laziness than anything else. I was thinking, oh, well, you guys have been getting them late anyway. Um, and, you know, it's Thursday. I actually thought I was going to have this episode done yesterday. Um, even Tuesday was unrealistic, but yeah, yesterday was Wednesday. I was hoping to get it done by then, um, even though it was supposed to be up Sunday. Anyway, so today's Thursday, it's Thursday evening now, the sun's down, um, I think it's about 7 o'clock or something, this episode may not be up till about 8 o'clock, you may not be seeing it till days or months or years later, imagine that, I could be dead for 10 years when <laughs> you guys are listening to this episode. Comment down below if I've been dead for 10 years and you're, and you're here in 20 whatever. It'll be 20, 34 at the earliest. <laughs> if I died this year, that is. Um, just so everyone knows, I don't have plans on dying this year. So I don't actually have time to do it. Can't fit it in. I thought about it, but yeah, I just can't fit it in. Got too many other things to do. So I'll let you know when I'm planning on dying. Just not yet. I've got a dry sense of humour, don't I, guys? It's real morbid, sick, weird, twisted, dry sense of humour. <coughs> Forgive the smoker's cough. Right, um, yeah, it's one thing I've been smoking a fair bit of weed while I've been relaxing, having these couple of days off, a few days off, what's been, it's been about four days, um, yeah, I think I, I was here on Saturday, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's five days. Here's me thinking this is like my third night here. Um, actually, no. Saturday night I stayed in the house, I think. Yeah, so that's Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday. No, you don't count Thursday night. Four nights. So four nights I've been here, and this is actually four days late, or three days late, I don't know. Three or four days late. No, it's four days late, yeah. Four nights I've been here. I'm just prattling on, repeating myself. But look, guys, um, yeah. Do you want a secret word? Didn't do one last week. Um, this dog, I'm not going to say his name. But he's still just trying to demand attention from me. And I'm trying to ignore him. That's <laughs> so distracting. He's even responding to that. Like, I laughed then and he wagged his tail at me like I was laughing at him. And now he thinks that I'm being cute to him and I'm not. But, thankfully, he's just got up and got distracted by laying the bone. He's going to check her out. There is two bones there. Um, and I don't think... I don't think this is eating the other one. It looks like she's asleep. Yeah, so there's a bone there for you to eat. You can eat that bone, lady. There's no one's touching that bone. You can eat that. What are you doing? You want to bury it? You can't bury it. Why well, won't let it stay buried? He's trying to hide it under his bed. Anyway, um... Oh, so yeah, we lost a wheel on the move. 
in the camper I mean yeah without wheels uh, you gotta lift it right so three of us carried it and I will admit it weighs a bit I don't know what I've got no idea what it weighs um, it'd be interesting to know actually but uh, it's probably got 60 kilos in steel alone um, yeah it's probably up around 80 kilos at least with all the stuff in it and yeah I didn't empty it out the mattress is still in there the, all my stuff that I had to show on the shelves were in was just dropped onto the mattress then the shelves were dropped on top of all the stuff it was a very disorganised move. I didn't pack anything up. I just dropped it all on, pulled everything off the shelves, put it onto the mattress, and then pulled the shelves out, out, put them onto the mattress, dropped the roof down, went to move it. Wheel broke, so we had to carry it. Luckily, luckily, we had a trailer right there. We put it onto a trailer. Like we moved the trailer right up to it. Yeah, so we backed it onto a trailer, backed the trailer in. Pulled it out forward out of, off the trailer and um, <coughs> um, yeah, where we stopped was where it is. It was on a bit of an angle, so I've just put one brick under one side. It's a bit closer to the level. I'm not sure if another brick there is going to overdo things. I, I actually suspected another brick on that side. They're only pavers, so they're not very high. But I, I suspected if I put two under there, it'll lean the, it'll overdo it and lean too far the other way. So there's a slight lean on it at the moment. Um, the nose is slightly up in the air, but that's fine because that's where my head is. And it's also helping for the fact that um, I still haven't fixed the leak in my roof above my head. And so without a tarp, water drips through that, that front seam. When, it, when it's raining heavy, heavily enough. Um, I've got the stuff to do it. <laughs> when I, it was probably six months ago, I did the, I bought the stuff and I did the back section. It's fixed. The front section I should have done the next day or, or even on the same day. But it was a little warm and I thought, oh, I, had, I struggled with that because the weather was so warm. Um, with if you know anything about fiberglass, the warmer the temperature, the quicker it goes off. And so I was putting minimal amount of hardener in and it was still going off really quick. So, yeah, working time was an issue. Working time's an issue anyway, even in not so hot weather. Um, with, with fiberglass, so uh, yeah. And because I'm not good at it and I'm nervous about it and just put it off, put it off, put it off, put it off, put up with the leak. Throw a tarp over the van whenever it rains. But um, so at the moment, I don't have a tarp. Um, I left the tarp at the old place because it was, it was shit, basically. It was given to me secondhand, and it was pretty brittle. And it wasn't quite the shape I wanted anyway. Um, so I've got... I don't want to have a tarp, really. I want to fix this roof. So I've got the stuff to fix the roof. If I remember when I go see my mate um, about the Cybertruck and we have a chat about that, I'll go across the road to the container. I'll look for the fiberglass. I've got the resin here. Um, where's the rest of the kit? I think the rest of the kit might be in the container as well. So there's a plastic bag that's got the fiberglass in it. There's a little bucket that's got the bits and pieces and the hardener. And then there's the resin, and I've got the resin here. And that's the entire kit. Um, so I was thinking, grab them, bring them back here. And when this weather dries up, we've been getting a bit of rain. I'll um, fiberglass the front end. And once that's done, I can actually um, have the caravan level. So I've got it slightly nose up at the moment, as I was saying. And as partly how it ended up because we don't have wheels on the back <laughs> and the, 
and the dolly wheel's actually on its, I think it's on its almost at its lowest position. I can go a bit lower with it. Um, what would have made sense would have made sense is to just leave the dolly wheel off and drop it to the ground. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'll leave the dolly wheel on for now, and it keeps the nose up. Because I don't have a tarp over the roof, it stops water from pooling above that spot where it leaks. There's still a bit of a leak when it, because like I said, it's been raining. So there's still a bit of a leak with the rain, but it's just a drip and it lands in one spot so far. And hopefully it doesn't get any worse than that until I get it fixed and this rain stops. It's not raining at the moment. Um, so yeah, I've got a container catching that drip and so luckily it's under the shelf or above the shelf I mean so yeah it just works out fine to have just something there to just catch a drip because the drip's only in one spot and it's not too hectic um, yeah so got that sorted or well, haven't got that sorted but that's one thing I've got to get sorted um, once I've got that sorted I can have a caravan level again at the moment it's not bothering me being this slightly off level and slightly nose up. It's not bothering me at all, really. Um, yeah, I can handle the van being on slightly uneven ground and on a slight angle. As long as it's not too crazy, it's all good. So, um, how am I doing time-wise? Oh, 36 minutes. I was thinking I was actually stalling trying to get it up to half an hour and then I was going to end this this recording. But yeah guys, sorry there's not a, not a lot to say other than I've moved um, and I'm happy about it. Um, I mean I'm, st I'm still not in a great place head wise but I'm, I'm a lot better than I could be I guess. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to stay positive. I could have easily thrown my arms up in the air when Francis died and given up on life. Um, when I had to move this time around, I mean. I knew I had to move that time around anyway. Um, but this time around, um, when I had to move, it, you know, the same crap could have happened. But um, not same crap, I mean... The same, the thing, the thing with me giving up could have easily happened um, with me having to move this time around. Um, one thing I'm discovering is is I'm a little more fragile than I think I am at times, and then I'm also finding that I'm a little tougher than I am at times. Um, you know, there's times when I I see other people they go, oh, it's a bit cold, and I go, no, it's not. Well, I might not say it out loud, but I feel it, I, can, I think it, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess hitching is a good thing. Um, and I'm hoping once I've got the Cybertruck on the road, the, the effort that I put into hitching is going to be put into pedalling. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to be pedalling to keep fit. I, I want pedalling to be an option, though. <laughs> I don't want it to be mandatory. But yeah, I'll see how it goes. Um, when I first get the Cybertruck on the road, it might not have much power at all, and I might have to do a lot of pedalling. And it might be quite slow because of gearing. But anyway, we'll work it out. Um... That's part of getting it rushed onto the road quickly. I'm going to cut corners and if it's slow and don't go too good, it doesn't matter at the, at the start as long as it goes and it's on the road. That's the main thing. I just want to get on the road. I want it to look the part and get on the bloody road before people start getting cyber trucks in Australia. I don't know when the first cyber trucks are due to arrive, but I'm sure they're going to arrive one day right so yeah with um 
with no cyber trucks in the on the road in Australia, um, I'm in a good position to have the first one on the road, even though it's not a real one. It's a it's a copy and it's a scale copy, and it's not even hundred percent accurate. I've made some adjustments. Won't go into them now. Um, they're more for the Cybertruck channel. <sighs> yeah, so I'm 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 really um, I'm really not fully recovered from moving and all that, but I'm okay. I've had a few days. I've, I've, I've adjusted to the new place a little. Um, you know, the recovery hasn't been too dramatic. I've just been taking it easy. Um, hopefully it's not because I'm unfit. I mean, I am unfit. I'm, I'm not young anymore. I'm 55, 56 this year. So, yeah, ho hopefully it's not because there's something wrong with me that I'm feeling this way. Hopefully it's just normal age and, and the combination of the stress of moving to. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, I think it's just me, you know, combination of depression, anxiety, insomnia, old age, you add all them things together and then throw the stress into moving. Yeah, I don't have to move an entire house, but the thing with this move is the guy that helped me, the guy, the guy that owned the place where I was living, offered the container, right? And so in return, I offered to do a bit of helping. Um, so when he was there loading up rubbish, I was helping him. I was, he was standing there with a the bag open, I was picking up rubbish and chucking it into the bag. You know, so I didn't just move here. Um, and the move here was a bit harder than normal because we didn't have wheels on the camper and blah, blah, blah. It all just goes on and adds up. I still haven't, I lost the bolts that hold the roof onto the top when you slide the roof up. You put bolts in to lock it in place. And I lost the bolts, so now I've just got two bits of wood going across it. Very primitive. And that leaves, that leaves a gap around the edge um, where mozzies can come in. Luckily I had a bag full of shopping bags, old plastic shopping bags. And I rolled all these bags up and shoved them into that gap and they fill the gap nicely and keep the mossies out and then I've got bits of foam where the doors are that I'll just press into place when the doors are shut during the day I don't worry so much I can even leave the doors open but yeah once the sun goes down the mossies they're just a thing kind of a thing all year round here because we're so tropical up, up here in the northern parts of New South Wales, it's a. I think it, I think it's actually classed as a subtropical climate. Um, so it's like it's as close to rainforest as you, as you can get without it actually being rainforest. Um, and we do have a lot of rainfall here, especially lately. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing. Nothing scary, it's not like we're going to worry about flood at the moment. But yeah, it, it wouldn't take much. The ground's so wet lately. It would take just a full day or two days of solid rain. We'd have a flood on our hands. Um, that's another thing. Flood won't affect me where I am here. Um, I won't be affected locally. Other than there's a road that gets cut off briefly in flood it never stays cut off for long it's overnight's about the worst it'll do you know or a day depending on what time of the day or not the rain actually falls but yeah after a whole lot of heavy rain the creek fills up there's a crossing that floods we may not get into town or, or if we're in town we may not get home for six to twelve hours something like that never much more than that though and yeah, it's only in extreme weather that that happens. <coughs> a whole lot of rain, you know, which happens here probably once a year, or once every couple of years maybe. 
um, enough where the bridges are under threat. But yeah, the fact where that you're actually totally cut off, really not that common every other year, maybe. And having said that, it can happen twice in a week or twice in a month. <laughs> but yeah, it's all, it's really spasmodic. The, the rainfall here, you know, just sort of, you get a lot, you don't get a lot. Um, but we're always getting some. Isn't, we're never far from the, the last rainfall or the next rainfall. Um, so yeah, there, there's people in this country that live in drought ridden areas and they'd love to have the rainfall we have here. So I, I can't be annoyed with it. I actually like the, the weather here, I like the rain. I like the fact that everything's so healthy from all the weather. It's um, it's also far enough far enough north to be in, be a warmer climate too. So it makes it humid, yes. Um, and um, the humidity makes the heat a bit unbearable when you first get here, but you adjust. Now I reckon the I'd find the heat in Sydney dry. Compared to so the t same temperature here on a hot on a stinking hot day, compared to Sydney, here you, you've got the moisture in the air. In Sydney, it's there's no moisture in the air. It's, it feels so dry. Um, but yeah, when you first come up here, the moisture in the air it makes you um, sweat. It makes you feel like you're wet all the time and you're sweating. But it also um, it, it, it feels like you're breathing vapour almost, like the air's thick. Um, as we're in Sydney with the air dryer and you're used to the dry heat, it's um, it's easier, I don't know. But you get up here and you start copping this humid air on a hot day and it's really thick and it does take some people a bit of adjusting. For me, I don't mind it so much. I don't think I'd like the dry heat as much nowadays in comparison yeah the humidity is a bit of a pain in the bum sometimes being real muggy and you just feel sweaty all the time um so you can you can break into us you can feel all muggy and sticky and sweaty from the heat here where you you're not feeling that in the same temperature in sydney if you know what i mean because it's drier um and it doesn't have to be a real hot day for that to happen. Anyway, I'm talking about weather. Blah, blah, blah. Well, only, it was only going to go half an hour, and now we're over three quarters of an hour. <laughs> um, I'm going to wind it up, guys. Uh, I haven't chucked in a secret word yet. So, let it be the one thing that's been annoying me this whole video, and the reason that I may not upload this and might have to record it again. Bone. Leia is chewing on a bone, so we'll have bone as our secret word. So yeah, just so that I know that you've listened to this video, or the majority of it, you've almost made it to the end. And I thank you for that. Um, please comment down below, bone. I know the people that are fair income listening, if they've and they've shown interest, if they've written bone. But you don't have to write bone, you can write anything else, you can ask questions, you can make comments, you can throw in suggestions, you can do whatever you want. You can abuse me. <laughs> you want to get something off your chest, you hate Aussies. Um, you want to have a go at Aussies. Or, look, I don't mind doing Q&As too. You want to know about what it's like to live in Australia, you want to know what it's like um, anything, you know, to... Do you, want, do you want to know what Australian people are really like? Um, do you want to know what tourism's like in Australia? Do you want to know what the crime's like in Australia? How safe or unsafe it is to be here? Um, yeah, anything at all. I, I'll, I'm happy to talk about it if I, if I have knowledge of it and I've, I've had personal experience, even better. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff I have knowledge on, don't really have personal experience, but I can still tell you about it. Um, 
there might be topics that I know about but I haven't just have any experience but I know I can give you the Aussie version of it for example um, so anyway guys like we said bones no bone singular not plural <laughs> so bone is the secret word um, if I have to record this video again I'll have a bone to pick with Leia <laughs> I don't know if I'll have it as a secret word then um, I, might, I might change to something like second recording or take two <laughs> I hope I don't have to record this again guys I'm hoping that chewing on the bones bearable I'm going to go back and listen to it in a minute once I finish once I sign up sign off sorry and that's what I'm about to do guys so yeah really appreciate you being here guys and girls um when I say guys it's a generic thing I, I don't mean it to just the male sex I have um female friends and walk up to them and I say hi guys if there's no guys present and they're not going to say we're not guys it's just a it's like a term of endearment demon i guess um yeah i um yeah i really appreciate you guys i really appreciate you being here appreciate you listening um i appreciate those that subscribe new subscribers i will subscribe to your channel even old subscribers, if you've got a channel you want me to subscribe to, drop a link to your channel below or just say please subscribe in the comments below. If you just write please subscribe in the comments below, I'll just click on your name and I'll hit subscribe. I'll check out your channel while I'm there. If your channel's interesting to me, I'll even watch things like them and comment on them. If it's not really interesting to me, it's you've at least got an extra sub. And it costs you nothing other than a comment. Um, I'm not the type to unsubscribe from people because their comment gets their content gets boring or whatever. Um, I just um, turn the notifications bell off. You know, if they're um, if they're annoying, if they do something to tick me off though, like you know, if, if it's something like with animals that I don't like or. You know, I don't like their standards. I don't like the way they treat their animal. You know what I mean? Like, um, I don't like the way they live or something. Or their person, something about their personality or their attitudes. I don't know. You know, for something, not everyone gets along with everyone, right? So, um, yeah, if I find that there's something about you in your channel that I don't like. And if you ask me to subscribe to a channel that's just total crap i mean i'll subscribe to your channel if you've got like two videos up and they're just really boring but i'm, I'm talking about negative uh, if your channel is horrible like something that people really don't want to be subscribed to if it's offensive if it's you know what i'm getting at uh, i don't mind if it's crap because the quality is shit and you're hopeless behind the camera and you're nervous or you just the stuff you're doing is just you and your little brother and you're both teenagers you know and you're being silly in the backyard or on your pushies or whatever i don't care like i'll still subscribe to your channel but if you're kicking a dog in the process forget it you know if you're being disrespectful to el to, to adults forget it um yeah there's multiple reasons why i will and they're, and they're the kind of things that, you know, you just they just go without saying, guys, you know, like, be, be a decent human being, basically. And <coughs> I'm nothing special. Not at all. Um, I'm far from the glamorous example of what a human being should be. But, having said that, I do try hard not to be an arsehole. <laughs> it's, it's not something that comes naturally to be an arsehole I'm you know I'm not, don't get me wrong I'm not nat I'm not a natural born arsehole but I do try my hardest to not be offensive to people to not be annoying to people to yeah to just not be unpleasant um boring that's something I can't help so much 
boring sort of comes naturally, guys. You, you know, maybe you're boring. Um, I'll still watch your videos if they're boring. If you're if you're an interesting person, I don't care if you've got boring videos. If you got something in your videos that I like, something to do with Cybertruck, something to do with dogs, something funny, something entertaining. There's a, if there's something about you that, or your channel that I like, I don't care if it's boring content. I'll still watch. I'll still hit like on your videos if, if I like them. Boring, I don't think boring's a real big thing for everyone. Um... YouTube is a place where, you, you know, you've got to remember how this all started. YouTube's a place where people grab a camera and all of a sudden they're a director and a movie producer or, or you know, they're, I've got my own TV channel. No, you don't. It's a YouTube channel. There's a big difference. <laughs> but it's like TV. Mm, no, not quite. There's ads on there. Yeah. YouTube capitalizes on our on our hard work, right? But anyway, um, nearly at an hour now, guys. I'm going to keep going. It's another few minutes away. We're going to stretch this video out now to an hour. Um, but look, guys, yeah, I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I really appreciate feedback. I'm not getting a lot lately, but like I said, it doesn't bother me if I don't get feedback. Um, it's just better when I do. It doesn't bother me when I get don't get many views. It's just better when I do. I've had one person unsubscribe. So I don't even have any new subscribers in the last week. I've got one less than I had when I put this last video up. <laughs> I went from 165 to 164. So yeah, if you're um if you're thinking of subscribing, please do like to make up that one that I lost be nice to even have a few more but um there was a time there recently where I was getting a, a new sub every week uh, I was working out on average around there and even there's even been times where it's felt like daily I've been getting new subs but it's just gone a bit quiet lately and I do understand it pro it's probably a reflect a direct reflect a direct reflection on my mood and the way I've been lately you know, the lateness, the, the the content's been a bit crappy. Um, there's been there's been hardly any videos as in other than this series. I, I don't know if I've done much in the way of uploads. You know, like I where where I was getting the likes and the and the subscribes and all that sort of thing was more and, and a bit more in the way of comments was more when I was also doing some shorts and some videos of me and the dogs at the creek and stuff like that. So I've been doing much of that. Um, I recorded a bit of video of Leia in the pool yesterday. Because, yeah, after Luke fell in the pool and I showed him the way out and they started to run around like tools, next thing Leia decides she's hot and she wants to jump in. So then I had two wet dogs. Um, but yeah, I filmed her um, when she went in because I knew that I didn't have to worry about her and she's fine. Um, she doesn't even need to go to the steps. She can get out anywhere around the pool. So she's got the upper body strength to pull herself up out of the water, which is really cool. But she also knows that there's steps there. Um, she's just not interested in them she doesn't care because she can get at it wherever she wants so um anyway i was only going to stretch it out now and i'm just about there guys so i'm going to wind it up this is going to be an hour long video appreciate you being here appreciate the comments if you're going to co bother commenting um secret word down in the comments just below I'm not going to repeat it again i said it enough times You'll have to go back and find it if you don't know what it is. You know, it wouldn't be 
funny if I got people that sneak to the end of the video just to put the secret word in the comment. <laughs> like they're going to win some prize. No. Yeah. You win my respect. Um, I really like you if you do that. That's about all. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not a... I'm not... Um, not being too entertaining right now, so I am going to go. Layers chewed this bone the entire hour that I've been bloody recording. Um, and I'm really concerned that this, the quality of this is going to be too crap, and I'm going to have to record the whole thing again. And if that happens, I'm going to take a little break. Have a smoke and a drink and a relax for about 10, 20, half an hour maybe. Then I'll do the recording again. And so then instead of it, what's the time now? It's nearly 8 o'clock. So instead of this video being up around 9 o'clock or a bit later or 10 o'clock, I don't know how long it's going to upload from here. Internet service seems to be a touch better than, than it was at the old place here. Um... I don't seem to have as many moments where I've got no internet. There's the occasional moment, but they're not as many. So yeah, that's um, that's one good thing having better internet service. Um, I've been thinking about getting Starlink, but that's um, I guess that's a talk for another video. Um, it's it's really a luxury that I probably can't afford, and I probably shouldn't be trying to afford. Um, I should really save it for when I don't have internet at all. Not just for somewhere where I've got... You know, my theory is that I'm saving rent, right? Um, so I can put that money towards Starlink and I'm still not going to be spending as much. But that's not the idea of not paying rent. My, my ultimate goal at the end of the day once I've got the Cybertruck and the camper finished and on the road is to never pay rent. So, um, just because I'm not paying rent at this moment, I should be taking advantage of that and using that money towards getting the solar truck on the road quicker rather than getting Starlink. So, I think my goal should be, as soon as the cyber truck's on the road, my reward to myself might be to get Starlink. Um... I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but I was hoping to get the Cybertruck in cheap mode onto the road by Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, Nibbin Mardi Gras, is an annual event, cannabis um, protest that's been going some 30 odd years, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's an annual thing for Nibbin, um, the biggest cannabis gathering that Australia has is in Nimbin so this is kind of the capital for cannabis but anyway it goes it's a three-day event that starts in the first weekend of May I'm not sure what the dates are this year but it'll be the first weekend of May whatever that is and because we're now into when are we we're in March so you know we, we don't have much time there's April <laughs> There's less than two months is what I'm trying to say to Mardi Gras. So to get the Cybertruck on the road in cheap mode, it may not even be functional. But I'd like to have it on the road, even if, I, if it's in push mode only. <coughs> um, I'd like to have it on the road for Mardi Gras. But yeah, if not, I've still got that extra month or so where my mate's going to help me out and hopefully by the end of that we get it on the road um and if not we'll work i'll work on it i'll get around it somehow i'm going to get on the road soon um but yeah i think my goal should be to not get starlink before the side trucks on the road um and i only just decided that in the last five minutes <laughs> Because uh, up till five minutes ago, I was actually seriously considering getting stuff to, getting Starlink, but now saying it out loud to you guys, <coughs> I've reconsidered. Leia, that's Leia choking on a bit of whatever from her bone. 
Now she's back in the chewing again. And please Leia, or please let this bloody video be okay. Not too noisy with the dogs. Um, anyway, I'm going guys. Um, love you heaps. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Um, if you don't like this video, just hit the dislike button twice. And that sends a message straight to YouTube to tell them. Um, yeah, you just hit the like button twice. Um, the dislike button, you notice that doesn't work anymore. So you've got to hit the like, like button twice for it to work. No, three times, sorry. Yeah, it's a magic three. Yeah. Once, twice, three times. Okay, so if you hit the magic like button three times, it um, tells YouTube you didn't like this video. So try that out. If you don't like this video, hit it three times. If you like it, hit it once. Subscribe. Throw a comment down below. Remember the secret words in this video somewhere. I love you if you're throwing in the secret word. But yeah, I'll just love you even if you just want to tell me my my um channel stupid <laughs> i'm happy to take your abuse abuse is better than not ignorance at the moment of being ignored um I'm, i feel like that naughty kid at the moment that was ready to do something bad just to get a smack because no one's giving him a cuddle oh um anyway guys yeah appreciate your heaps thanks for listening Hopefully I do get a video out on Sunday and there'll be another video in a few days time. If not, within the week, it'll surely be up. Episode 12, look out for it. Have the notification bell ticked and it'll um, be easier for you to get warned into that. Um, but yeah, until then, stay safe, be kind to each other. Don't waste your life. It's a, that's a great line. I like it. It's not my line. I've stolen it. But don't waste your life. I heard, I know a radio presenter that uses that at the end of his show, and I just like the line. It's a cool line. If you got a, advice for anyone, what would it be? Don't waste your life. How simple is that? It's it's one of the hardest things to not do though. It's so easy to waste a life. Um. It's so easy to, just to be idle and not do anything and the years just march by and all of a sudden you're like, hang on, what happened to my goals I had when I was 20? Yeah, anyway, I'm getting off topic and the topic is bye guys. Love you.